These are the champions. The champions. Boy, it's gonna be a long time before Mac can sing that tune, or at least hum it, because damn man, this this is our Champions League game against Real Madrid and. Second leg settings, we are already 2-0 down. And we can't really have high hopes that we're going to get out of this. As much as we would love to believe. But I'm not going to get my hopes up that much. Because this team here, the shadow of what we would have been or what we was last year. We was two goals behind last year. And yeah, man, we could nearly pull it out the back. But with this team, we failed to score goals. And for me, knowing that Kukure is going to be playing, it makes me... Just worry about the fact that we are definitely going to concede. I can't see us holding now against Real Madrid. Special Vinicius Jr., Benzema link up, Samantin. These men, they're going to pattern us today and knock us out of the Champions League. And this will be our low, this will probably be our last Champions League slash European game for the next 18 months. So, on that note, the players better give everything today. Better give everything today as Lampard would say when it comes to Stamford Bridge Champions League nights these games you can you can big up yourselves you can get the fans behind you and hopefully they can give you the momentum that you guys can need to in order to get a positive result but we are playing as champions of Europe the greatest Champions League team ever 2 0 down. If we couldn't do it this time last year with a with, with a team that had won the Champions League, how are we gonna do it now with a team that's a shadow of that team? Can't get man's hopes up. And I advise everyone not to get their hopes up too much. As much as we'd love to believe that we can pull this out, this just isn't our season. It isn't our season. And right now with Lampard, who is tactically inept, I don't think he's gonna get the best out of the team. And we are definitely going to get knocked out today. We've seen the team news, like I said. Um, Armando Brogia, he's out. Kudabali, he's injured. And Ben Chor, he's suspended after picking up a yellow, I mean, a red card in the previous match. The guys like Kukurea are going to start today. We can't really hope that we can't hope that we're going to get a clean shoot. Not against the Benzmas and the Vinicius Juniors of the world. Not to mention the midfield, they got. Nuffman, Kroos, Modric, they even have Valverde that can create chances out of nothing. Like, let's just be real, it's going to be a long day for us today. It's going to be a very long day. I should hope the team just puts everything out on the line. You leave everything on the pitch. That's the only way Chelsea fans are going to be somewhat acceptable with the performance today. That you guys just actually try to win this match. Take as many shots. Put Madrid under pressure. Because if not, they're going to hit us on a counter-attack because they can just sit back and allow us to attack. And from when they do that, hit us on a break with Rodrigo and on Vinicius. As you saw in the last game, they had so much space. That's why today we can't even play with three at the back because we need the man, we need guys on certain guys. And that's the reason why today I feel like we have to go with a 4-3-3. It makes the most sense. We need to push out more and get as many players higher up the pitch as possible. Whereas in the last game, there was none of that. We didn't utilize the wings at all. Everything was through the center and that cost us dearly. Hopefully today, with more pace in the team, it should allow us to expose Madrid somewhat more. But even on that note, we're still gonna lose in my opinion. We're not gonna advance, but like I said before, it's the performance that means everything. We need to perform well, we have to. Score some goals would be excellent. Score two goals, that would be excellent. But I don't even see that happening. But with the fans at Stamford Bridge, we've seen mad nights against Napoli's of the world, against Barcelona's. Can't forget, um, can't forget Liverpool's as well. It's like all of these great Champions League nights at Stamford Bridge, they can happen. It's just very unlikely that it will today. I don't want to be a down on you guys, but I'm just trying to let you guys know. I'm not trying to sell you false dreams. And 
you've already seen the season. We've lost more games in all competition than we've won. So I don't even try to keep it so negative. Now I'm gonna go into the team news. No, not the team news, my preferred lineups. Let's predict a lineup. Or my preferred lineup. I want Edward Mendy in goal. Right back, Reese James, centre backs, Wesley Fofano, Thiago Silva, and on the and as a left back, no choice but to put Kukureira. In the middle of the park, I want Enzo Fernandez, N'Golo Kante, and Mason Mount. Then on the left, I want on the left I want Mikhailo Mudrik. On the right, I want Joao Felix. Up top, I want Sterling. I know Joao Felix and Sterling they had a stinker of a game last game, but I prefer them to play over, let's say, a Pulisic or even um, Kai Havertz. These guys can can do more stuff than I believe Kai Havertz can, even though Kai can have the presence to hold up the ball and such. I hear that, and that could be valuable, but we need runners, and Joao Felix, I would think, is more pacey, Sterling, therefore, and and on Mikhailo Mujic is definitely more pacey. So to get used to the wings a lot more with pace down there will help or should help us to get Madrid back more and create more chances. We're gonna have to wait and see. Obviously, we're gonna lack that, that aerial threat, which is why I could potentially see Cajabas playing because we don't have any big players, no aerial threat really. But it's just gonna be interesting to see because Lampard, Today is a good day for you to show if you are if you are um, if you can be tactically better. But after your record recently, what is that like? It was that like fourteen L's in the last seventeen games? It's mad. On top of that, Madrid as well. Um, this team there is a mad team. It's just gonna be interesting. I am expecting mass cooperation for this game. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a three 0 Real Madrid. I'll be real to you. I think they're gonna slap us. I don't think we're gonna score. We don't score enough, and even though we got a goal in the last game, it was an utter life in a sense. So let's just hope that we can get this game wrapped up and get some goals with a positive performance. Madrid are most likely gonna go through, but. Let's just hope the players leave everything on the pitch because that's all we can ask for as fans. But on that note, I would like to know you guys' score predictions in the comments. Obviously, I just said mine's 3 0. Let me know who you'd want to start. And also, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. 321 subscribers. Help me get to 400 before the end of this month and 1,000 before the start of next season. Help me do that. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new Chelsea updates. And join me for my watch along later today, which I will be starting at about 7.30, 7.45. As obviously Ramadan and that, I need to break fast. So yeah, I'll be starting at those times. Thank you to everyone who has got this far in the video. Appreciate you all. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Red Blue. And I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.